Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change the profile path for a user in Windows 11. Uh, this should work the same for Windows 10. So by default, you know, if you go to your C drive and users, uh, you'll have the uh, name here. So what Microsoft will do is it'll take the uh, first five letters of your email address that you use for your Microsoft account. So this is cindysims at gmail.com, so it just did Cindy. This is Todd Sims, so it did Todd S, the first five. So if you want to change it, let's say you want to you know, make a different naming convention like first initial last name. Uh, if you change it right here, it's not going to work because the profile for Windows is associated with this actual folder here. It's just like that. So what you could do is from a different administrator account, you could go ahead and change it. I've tried to do this um, from the same account and change the name, the profile path you know, while logged in, logged in with that same account. But the problem is you can't rename your folder. This is part of the step. So if I right click this, there's no rename option. If I press F2, it doesn't do anything. But for other ones, you know, that one will let me change it. This one will let me change it. The public doesn't for some reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to change Cindy's profile path while logged in as Todd. So he's an administrator, so he should be able to change it. So I have a little cheat sheet here. So the first thing we need to do is get her uh, SID number here. So we need to run this command from administrator command prompt. So let's do uh, CMD here. Run as administrator. We'll just paste that in. And then you got to find the user here and make a note of the uh, SID here. So we can just copy that. We'll just paste it in here. So it ends with uh, 1005. So next thing we need to do is open up RegEdit and navigate to this path. So the easiest way to do that is just copy and paste this. I'll put all this in the description so you'll have it. So open RegEdit. Let's paste this in the address bar. And now you want to look on Profile List and look for that one that ended in 1005, which matches what we have here. So now we want to open Profile Image Path which is this guy here. And you can see right now it's uh, Cindy, just like we have here. So we're going to change this to C. Sims, uh, first initial last name here, because that's going to be our naming convention. Close that up here. All right, so now we're going to go here and rename her folder. Okay, just like that. You might get a, an error saying the folder's in use if you try and rename it. So if that's the case, usually rebooting the computer will clear that up. Okay, so now we're going to log in as Cindy and see what happens here. Okay, let's go check out our folder here. So now we got C Sims, we could open it up. We have our information there. And let's say we go to documents, go to the properties, location. You can see it's now in C Sims instead of Cindy, so it updated her uh, default paths here. So this will not change her username. So if I open a command prompt here, Who do a who am I? Her user username is still Cindy, so it just changes the path. It doesn't change her uh, user account name, so keep that in mind. If that's going to be a problem for you, you might not want to do this. All right, so uh, once again, let's go back to the other account here. So all you have to do is uh, run this administrative command prompt. Uh, make a note of the value it gives you for that username. Go to this location in the registry. Find a profile image path. Uh, double click it. Um, change the uh, folder to what you want it to be. And then go to Windows Explorer here or File Explorer. Under Users, rename the folder to match. And then have that user uh, log in and everything should be, be good to go. So this is, you know, one of those do so at your own risk things, but it should be okay. So it's up to you. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.